Hi, Micro Hunter here again. And as we are approaching the 1,000 subscribers of this channel, I would uh, like to talk today about the 1,000 times total magnification that you can get uh, with oil immersion micro microscopy. I want to address uh, one of the questions uh, from one of my subscribers that I read some time ago. Um, and he um, asked me, why is it that I do not recommend oil immersion uh, for beginners? Um, and those of you who have already seen a few of uh, my other videos know that I'm a little bit skeptical concerning oil immersion especially for beginners and the reason is that uh, we've once used oil immersion in school where I teach and we did not have a very good experience with that as a matter of fact uh, students ended up breaking objectives the non oil uh, immersion objectives because they rotated uh, uh, these objectives into the oil and this kind of really um, messed them up and so we decided uh, to remove all of the oil immersion micro uh, objectives and we are not doing oil immersion microscopy anymore but at the same time I understand that the situation is different uh, when uh, people um, are doing a microscopy um, on their own at home and, and yeah. so of course I understand the situation is different in any case I decide I'm going to let you decide uh, and I'm going to show you now how oil immersion works and um, one of the things that I'm going to do that you don't have to do um, is, is I have to exchange my objectives because uh, I usually do not use the 100 times oil objective and therefore I have to exchange it back and this is what I'm going to do first and then later on I'm after I've done all of the technical stuff and I've showed you how it works I'm we're going to have a look I'm going to show you some uh, algae how they look uh, like under oil immersion and yeah that's what we're gonna do okay a uh, specimen has to be pretty thin because uh, the depth of field is very low so I'm using a very small um, amount of uh, specimen sample a small drop of water um, and uh, cover glass goes on top and as you can see uh, the film between the cover glass and the water is quite uh, thin. This is the focus lock lever. Um, everything is in focus now already and I'm now uh, moving it over and this remembers the position of the stage. So when I uh, raise and lower the stage using the coarse focus knob it will not crash into the objective because it uh, remembered uh, the highest position of the stage. It's a convenience uh, thing. Uh, many microscopes don't have that. Um, and I'm now removing my 60 times uh, dry objective. So that's the non-oil objective uh, to exchange it uh, with uh, the 100 times oil immersion objective uh, in most microscopes uh, this is a step that you don't have to do because uh, it's already in there you can see that there's also no cover glass required because uh, the oil um, is uh, taking the place uh, is filling up the space between the cover glass and, and the air and therefore the objective uh, is uh, does not see so to say uh, the thickness of the cover glass so this is now the oil immersion objective in place and uh, when I use the coarse focus knob I can raise it all the way up and it will not crash because as I told you before it has remembered the position of the stage. So uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lower the stage um, I'm going to add a drop um, of immersion oil. I like synthetic immersion oil because this one does not solidify over time um, and I place a small drop uh, directly on the cover glass um, and I raise uh, the stage again and uh, yeah then uh, that's basically it and then I can do um, oil immersion microscopy this way. Um, and. Uh, when I now want to use the 40 times objective, I cannot do this. I cannot switch back because then I'm going to contaminate the 40 times objective with the oil. And this is exactly one of the things that many beginning students um, have done. Um, and uh, this uh, actually destroyed the 40 times objective. The 4 times objective is okay, okay, because there is uh, no way um, that it's able to contact the oil because the distance is so large. But for the other um, high power objectives, this can be a problem. Um, so this is uh, basically uh, what you have to do afterwards is then is okay, I'm, you've got to clean uh, the whole thing so I'm using some lens paper it is important you don't want to use any paper just, it's going to be specific lens paper uh, to carefully remove the excessive oil um, and it's not necessary to completely dry wipe it because you'll be using it uh, on a frequent basis anyway um, because I will not be using it on a frequent basis I have to clean off the oil uh, quite well because I do not want that dust accumulates over time on the sticky oil then it's becoming more and more difficult to clean so I'm carefully without any pressure I'm carefully removing the excess oil and here I'm just showing you how to use a solvent to clean the objective um, yeah um, and of course you, you want to use fresh uh, tissue paper lens paper not tissue paper lens paper for this so and uh, the appropriate solvent 
and this also removes uh, any remaining uh, oil film uh, on the lens um, again with synthetic uh, oil it's probably less of a problem and if you store it um, in a dust free environment it also should be less of a problem I'm just doing this here to show you what I'm doing but this is not a step that you normally would do when you use um, oil immersion on a frequent basis yeah and uh, yeah I'm basically now putting it away into its case again and uh, to be locked away um, and what we're going to do now is, is I'm just going to show you now um, how the whole thing looks like um, under the microscope how the algae looks like under the microscope of course I have to put in back my that's the oil um, on the cover glass and uh, yeah okay so this is uh, basically uh, looking at it using the four times uh, magnification so the total magnification when you look through is is 40 times this is my using my 10 times my 10x objective you can already see the individual green chloroplasts in the cells 20 times um, objective I have also 20 times objective I like this a lot I use it quite frequently uh, 40 times um, 40 times uh, high power objective this is now 60 times um, I use this one quite frequently actually and you can see the uh, chloroplast quite well and this is now the 100 times oil objective without immersion oil without immersion oil you can see it does look a little bit blurry um, and uh, when I add immersion oil now I found the same place again um, under the on the slide and this is how it looks with immersion oil you can see uh, the colors are much brighter and the contrast is also much better um, but it's also much more sensitive. So for example, the, the image is a little bit shaky. I'm moving it around, of course, but even if it's stationary, it's a little bit shaky because every, every small bump on the table is immediately transferred to the slide. And these uh, round things here, these seem to be uh, diatoms growing on um, on the algae. And you know, I know that these are, or I think these are diatoms because uh, you can see actually the, the structure of the shell. If you focus back and forth carefully, you can actually see that, uh, um, yeah, the, the texture of the shell a little bit, uh, which is typical for diatoms. Yeah, um, and uh, now two comparison photographs, comparison pictures. This is uh, the 100 times oil without oil. Um, so that means uh, the oil objective without oil, and this one is the one with oil. So you can actually see the difference here as well. Yeah, okay, so that's pretty much it. So that's it again. Wish you all the best. Uh, happy microbe hunting as always. Please also visit my other channel uh, where I talk uh, about microscopic observations. Where I'm just going to show you some of the stuff that I found under the microscope. Uh, the links and uh, um, other useful resources can be found in the description below. Wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.